All right, so day three, you're gonna have to forgive me on the, uh, the sound in here. I don't have my microphone this morning. So uh, day three, working on the stringers for the uh, ribs on the left and right wings. Uh, took a little bit yesterday to get the, uh, the ribs all squared away, but uh, that's what I've been doing this morning. So uh, a couple lessons learned. Uh, really glad that I was here at the factory. Two of the ribs did not fit properly. They were too narrow. Um, I think I showed that in another video, but uh, basically there was a gap between the uh, top part of the flange and the bottom part of the flange. I'll show that here in a second. On the left ring wing, it was rib number two. And then uh, right wing was ring rib number five. So got that all squared away. And uh, so this morning, did a little bit of math and some figuring out to make sure that I was all square and set. So I'll uh, flip it around, show some video of the left ring, left wing for our string. So you'll see the upper stringer here has a 100 degree angle on it and the, it faces forward. So uh, focus today was on that. You'll notice that uh, I did some, had some sticky tabs, which have been very helpful uh, to be able to write down notes and make measurements and some other things just so I have them visually in front of me and that way I've got them. So you'll notice that the old uh, Pythagorean theorem came out this morning using some old math stuff that I haven't used in quite a while. So as we come over here, the upper spring stringer is in place so last night I spent a little bit of time doing some marking that actually helped out quite a bit went through and marked each rib uh, centered so each rib has a center mark down the middle and that allowed me when I get my stringer to do my measurements from the end line up the stringer marks you'll see right there with center on my stringer and ran those across. Nice thing was knowing that uh, they're 15 inches between centers, so 15 to 15, and I was able to throw the Pythagorean theorem in there and a quick calculation and then do a cross measurement between the uh, bottom lip center and my mark. So, for example, it was from this mark right down here, that lip right there, and then up over to here to the 8 inch mark up top, and then my measurement was a 17. So, worked out pretty good. I got it all clamped together with Clico clamps, and that is the progress for this morning. So, I'll switch over and do the exact same thing for the right wing, which is sitting over there. And once I've got that done, then I'll uh, move on to the lower stringers, which go on this side you'll see that the inner ribs are all pre-slotted for the stringers to fit into the outer string or the outer ribs don't uh, the number one and number seven ribs don't have those pre-cut stringer slots so that requires the, a little bit of notching and tool work so notching it out right there I've got to come back through and clean these up I've got to make sure that these are rounded edges. I think I've got that one already rounded off. The other one squared and then smoothing off and rounding off all the edges there. So that is the progress for today so far. I'll give an update later on.
back on left left wing stringer you'll see that uh, those edges have been cleaned up and rounded so that's rounded out those edges are rounded those edges are rounded so then I'll move on to uh, cleaning up the edges with a uh, cleaning file and then put it back on